Hey everyone, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. If you haven't caught my top five things to help your BMW live forever, definitely check out the link up above. It's a great video. I hit a lot of great points. Help maintain your BMW. Get it to where it's gonna live forever. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the top five tips to a successful BMW DIY. First and foremost, at number one, you need to make sure that the part you're replacing is truly the part at fault. There are tons and tons of times that I've seen misdiagnosing from a lack of experience, lack of knowledge, or asking the wrong people. So for example, right, you're in your engine bay here, you know, you're in your BMW, this, uh, this is the N54, making sure that if you have oil leaking here, that you know it's tied to the oil cooler and not the oil filter housing. You know, if you have oil leaking from your cap, then you know you need to start here first and go from there, and then go back from that. It's definitely a big thing that I see all the time. So just be careful, like when you start your BMW DIY, do tons of research, right? Get some friends to kind of take a look at it. So take your time because if you're replacing, you know, that certain gasket, that you replace the correct one. Prior to starting your project, take a look at other YouTube videos or even DIYs online. So I've done a lot of form review as far as DIYs go, and that's been the biggest thing, right? So you got E90 Post, you got N54Tech.com, hone in on what you're kind of looking for, and that's been the biggest thing. So it's really, you know, finding those DIYs, reviewing them, making sure that it's exactly what you're trying to do. That's very important. So that's another big uh, piece of advice there. So just look through it, research, and sometimes you have to put a couple DIYs together. I know I had to do that on my oil cooler and oil filter housing gasket when I first replaced them. There were a lot of missing pieces as far as other DIYs, and that's another word of caution too. More DIYs you look at the same topic, some people leave certain things out accidentally, but you wanna make sure that when you do it, you do it correctly and that you had the most information possible before you start working on your BMW. Number three, buying your parts at a great price and of course, a great warranty. Now I've ordered quite a bit of stuff through FCP Euro, so that's where we're coming in at number three. If you're doing DIYs, you definitely do not wanna overpay for parts and you will overpay if you go directly to the dealer. So it's very simple, right? Let's say go into fcpeuro.com, put in your car information, and then you can start going through all the mini list of parts, or you can go into the categories on you know, your left-hand side there, and you can see kind of all of uh, the certain sections if you wanna go to that. So that's another thing. Number four, gather the tools that you need prior to starting on it. If you need one little tool, do not start it and then, then go back to it. Get all the tools that you need. That way you have a clear understanding as far as everything that you're trying to work on, everything you're trying to get, you have everything that you need. That's very important. So when you're doing your DIYs and reviewing what's in that DIY and what's in the part of the process, that way you can make sure all the tools that you have are perfectly good to go and you're set. And number five, when you do DIYs, sometimes it's best to have friends help you. Now let's be honest, you know, things change in life, I'll tell you that right now, because when I used to always work on cars, I would have like five, six people help me all at the same time and it really made a world of difference. When I'm doing a lot of DIYs by myself, sometimes it's hard and I can't really get everything that I need. You know, sometimes you need another hand to hold up something as far as, uh, you know, to line it up and then the other person try to help thread in the bolt or something like that. I'm telling you, it helps out so much. So if you have friends that are willing to help you, so that way you get it done a lot sooner. Have fun on this DIYs and remember, maintenance before modification is always my number one point of advice. That way your car is smooth running, and then when you start throwing more power at it, you're perfectly fine. Well everyone, that does it for today. The top five tips to a successful BMW DIY. Have a great one guys, and as always, please be sure to subscribe, like and comment. Check out the video tomorrow. Have a good one. Take care.